My name is Marion and I have become very interested in fermenting food. I have a background in welfare and nursing and have had a long history of digestion problems. I found fermenting and using foods that are naturally fermented have helped me regain my health, regain my energy and it's like having a servant in the kitchen who would do anything else but. Like it's just wonderful. You go off to work and leave your food and the good bacteria in it ferments it for you. And you come back, put it in a jar and say thank you very much. I'll have that when I'm ready to eat. I do fermenting workshops and teach a really good basic five, uh, five different foods and that would take you to becoming almost an expert in fermenting in one hour. Oh, kefir, you've yeah. got to strain the yeah. longer it would take. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Now, have you tried the dip? No. No. Well, have a go. Try the dip. Make your glass jars free of chemicals. Rinse them after you wash. Yeah. We use a special dishwashing liquid which is friendly. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. not the bad stuff. Yeah. And like, honest to God, I am getting more and more easy going with hygiene because these good bacteria mm. deal with everything. I don't have to use strong chemicals. Mm. I don't use... Mm. Okay, so this is normal sauerkraut. This is sauerkraut. Oh, it's yeah. pink because it's got red cabbage and green cabbage. And my granddaughter loves it. She goes, pink, pink. This mm. one is kimchi. That's the Korean one, is yeah. that right? And this one is radish. So you're very welcome. Mm. Straight radish. Fermented radish. Yep. Yeah, and of course radish is very good. Take so a you plate. Just put that in there with salt away and yep. let it do its and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Oh you're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you. <coughs> yep. Okay. It's amazing, isn't it? Any questions? You're a very busy bee, Marion. With all these things, aren't you? Like it's just I'm like a witch. It feels <laughs> like I'm a witch. And I go, here I've got all these servants doing things yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. Like I just go, boom, boom, and it's done. And I don't find it a big hassle. It's like, it's mm. really easy. Because so I had chronic fatigue. Mm. I got Ross River. Mm. And I and I had had glandular fever, so I'd say my immune system wasn't really great. And um, so I got Ross River and... 20 years later, I was diagnosed, but I probably had an age issue, you know. That's really quite this. easy to do and quite straightforward. I love this one. Like mm -hmm. People can never believe how easy it is. It is so it's easy. easy. Like in within, Germany, they bury it. In half an hour. Yeah, because it keeps it cool. But it's such a, a very cheap, healthy yeah. drink because for yeah. $4 and a bit of salt and a bit of whey, Mm, yeah. You've got several litres of really good, which is going to clean your liver out, which is going to help you become... So how long did it take you to sort of really start to feel the difference? Well, for a start, I noticed that I could digest my food and I felt better for digesting the food, you know. Because if you have things, like I used to get colitis, Mm. which is loose bowels and you know like if you've got colitis you're not digesting very well at all so and I get really nauseous so I stopped feeling sick mm. while I was having this food straight away but mm, like how long did it really take me well people noticed that I looked better straight away mm. pretty well it's an excellent blood tonic promotes regularity aids digestion alkalizes the blood cleans the liver it's a good treatment for kidney stone and other ailments. And because it's so easy to do, it's so cheap. Mm. Having a small amount before a meal, like we serve it up here and we have it for breakfast. And so you've got to have somebody to give you a mushroom to start it off with. Which I'm going to do. Oh, okay. So, so and then so put it in your fridge when you get home and feed it sugar and tea and, and do whatever. Whatever the story says. Yeah. 
and also what you can do with this if you'd like if you've got a favorite herbal tea that is beneficial for your health cook it up in some water boil it up you know for whatever 20 minutes then strain it and add it into your kombucha mm -hmm. so that's an extra benefit to the good herbs because then it'll just sort of to ferment yes to ferment mm. Okay. And then you just add water and that's it. Beautiful. I know, you've got to read the recipe. This is, oh, okay. yeah, this is, and lemons this is and the start. There's so much to start. it, really. It's like all of these things, there's not much to it. There isn't. People the used to always to make ginger beer when I was young. Oh, yeah, when I was a kid. All, yeah. all, everywhere it's I always went. part of Christmas, yeah. Yet. I, I know. that. And I know. I'm 66 going on to 67. No, wow. Oh. That's long. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How's that? Thank you, Marion. You're the best of us. of course. Well, I have to say this was one of the most useful afternoons that I've spent in a very long time. Um, I feel very excited about learning how to ferment food. Well, I've just learned how to, but actually to put it into practice and seeing the benefits that have been happening for me already. I haven't managed to make any yet, that's why I'm here, but I have been buying it and using it. I feel like I'm metabolising and digesting a lot more efficiently and um, I feel like I have a lot more energy. So I highly recommend Marion's um, course. It's a wonderful afternoon.